Hi everyone, today I'm going to play an experiment with paint. I prepare watercolor paint, papers, cups, brushes, water, foil, chopsticks, spoons, cotton swabs, sponges, a paper roll, a toothbrush, and some natural materials like leaves, wooden sticks, and stones to assemble. I start by putting some paint on my finger to feel the texture. It feels wet, slippery, thick, smooth, and a bit sticky. Paint has a good coverage and it can cover the tattoo on my finger. And when I press my hand on the paper, the paint has transferred to the paper and it shows the shape of my hand and my palm lines clearly. I pressed four times and each time the print on the paper become lighter. Only a small amount of paint remains on my hand. This gives me the idea that the paint is capable of coverage and incapable of changing the physical properties of surface texture. You can draw, decorate, create art, do whatever you want with paint as Digital 2013 states, their outcomes were always contingent and open to the properties and the capabilities of non-human components. Then I drop some paint on the cardboard and I can find that it flows slowly. It's interesting that the liquidity of different colors is different in this case. The yellow paint flows faster than other paint obviously, and this really sparks my curiosity about why. I mix the different colors of paint. The yellow and red turns up in orange, and the yellow and blue turns into green. Then I mix the paint with water and pour it on the paper. I don't know what I'm going to assemblage and create in this case. As Dallas and Gattari 1987 describe such moments as motionless journey that are imperceptible, unexpected, and subterranean. Different colors of paint flow and intertwine to create a kind of rainbow color. Gilbert 2004 suggests that improvising assemblages are most active and capable of expressing themselves when boundaries blur. I feel like I'm expressing myself as relaxed and vibrant in this case. I continue to discover paint by using different materials to apply. Firstly, I use a makeup sponge. Paint with the sponge gives a gradient effect and it can vary by how hard you press. Then I use the toothbrush. I find different angles you use the toothbrush gives different results. Then I use the wooden stick. It does not work well if you use it as a pen to draw. So I try to roll it and it still does not apply the paint really well, maybe because of the uneven surface of the wooden stick. I crumple up the foil to assemblage. It gives a unique effect and shows the special texture of the foil. I use the paper towel to wipe the paper. It kind of mixes everything up and leaves a watermark there. I apply some paint on the leaf and press it on the paper. The texture and pattern of the leaf has been clearly transferred and this really shows a sense of nature. I have a deeper understanding of the paint and the perception of the world through the experiment. Touch in paint assemblages are not only about feeling the material itself, but also a sensory way to feel the world. As Manning 2009 said, each touch is much more than a tactile sensory input, it's a hearing with a seeing through. <laughs>